Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my review for YouTube's original series, Impulse. So I'm actually doing a review for season two, but I will recap season one. And I just want to say thank you to YouTube for sending us the episodes. Impulse is about Henry. Uh, she is a young girl who's traveling with her mom. Uh, they they hop from town to town and it comes to, uh, it comes to her that she's apparently has some sort of mental breakdown. At least that's what she thinks. And then she has these powers that manifest in a way that she doesn't know how to control. By the end of season one, just a big mess. It's all really about Henry and her mother and how they're integrating into this new town. And it's about their relationship and then how she comes to terms without trying to reveal to anybody uh, what she is or what she can do. At the end of season one, there is this big event that happens and I'm trying to not reveal too many plot spoilers just in case you haven't seen season one. Season two picks up on that big combination event. Thankfully, they don't take their time of sorting that storyline out with the Boons who are into drug drugs yes into drugs season two you basically see henry come into fruition of her powers learning to control them you get some dark montages you get uh, henry come to kind of a friendship or a trust with nikolai who they don't know whether they can trust henry doesn't know she can trust nikolai but he's the only one that seems to know anything about it because he seems to be a jumper as well the thing about this series is it really delves deep into character development and they take their time by showing you how many messed up each of these characters are they are flawed flawed people i mean we all are but they really take their time showing how flawed these people are and you kind of just want them to sort their crap out before they can sort anybody else's crap out or be of use to anybody in society they're so messed up that uh, dealing with anything in life anything like uh, uh powers you know they can't do because they're always kind of have so much shit to deal with uh, and it can be quite frustrating at times that the way this is written but at the same time it keeps you invested because you it's frustratingly invested <sighs> what did get me invested in season one though was this is the series i wanted from the film jump i'm different <laughs> I'm sure people have made comparisons before with this. There is a character in Jumper, not the main character. I think it's the Scottish guy. Um, whose story was so interesting. You wanted to know more about him. And I always wanted a TV series about him. For me, in this series, Nikolai is that character. There's an episode four in season two, which is phenomenal. It, the whole series changes its tack. It goes a different direction, a different feel. And I really felt like at that moment, I was really invested into season two. Not that the actors aren't doing their job and, and Henry isn't great at what she does or as an actress. There's a lot of teenage angst drama in this series. There needed to be some real weight with some other the characters that she's interacting really like what they did there it's a different kind of feel and timeline and filming i mean the filming is the same throughout it's fantastic the cinematography is fantastic the looks the shot the lighting all of that is done really well that episode four was that that had me on board i was invested and that wasn't even in henry's character which just added a real weight to what's been going on within the storylines within the, the the jumper tv series although it's called impulse i felt like i was watching jumper all the the, the jumper series that i always wanted unfortunately you don't get a lot of um, teleporting fighting in season two there is some so don't be disheartened if you're like that's what you're invested into the story is where this leans heavily they those character defining moments those character creating moments that when those characters finally come into their own when they start sorting their shit out the story is very interesting i feel like there are some other storylines that actually don't need to be in impulse there's one particular storyline where a guy thinks that she's this angel um and it's it's followed the thread from season one into season two feel like this is a storyline that they've put in the thread of the whole arc for further seasons the way they leave it they finish an arc but there's a grander arc a bigger story they tantalizingly tease you at the end or uh, something great to come and there's an actress in there that appears without doing spoilers that are just like whoa well, she's a phenomenal actress. I'm so happy she's in this. That was awesome. I really enjoyed this season once I was invested. It did take me a few episodes to get back into it. The first season was like, well, this is new. This is fresh. This is something different. This is the Jumper series I always wanted. Season two, I was like, oh, she's th those characters are still not dealing with their own crap. And now I'm going to have to deal with my family drama for 10 episodes. I want the story arc to be more than that. It changed. I think from about episode four, which I think was really good. I like what they did there. 
then I was invested. Probably the best episode, number four, in both seasons. I do like what they did in 8, 9, and 10. I think the combination, the revving up to that series, they, the pacing is a little bit quicker. I'm looking forward to the wider story to see what they do with it. But on a whole, I think it's a really strong series. If you like to jump or like the premise of it, at least, you will love um, this series. The acting is top-notch, and there are some really powerful moments between characters when they interact with each other emotionally from stuff that's happened. This series does deal with a lot of dark elements, dark themes. The season one, there was this sexual um, attack theme that was carried over and it really influences Henry's um, character throughout the seasons and they deal with that a lot and that causes some really interesting acting moments, some really dark emotional interactions with her friends. I think you'll enjoy the direction and the storyline and then of course you get the fun teleporting bits and what they can do with teleporting now. I'm not going to tell you about any of that because it's really nice just to see that develop. All I can say is you should give this a go if you like that sort of series. It is drama, it is angst, but it's it's intertwined with teleportation, uh, a jumper series. I think that's all you needed to know. I'm going to give this a B plus. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this series. Are you excited to see it? Have you even heard of it? Um, what do you think of YouTube original content? Let me know in the comments below. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.